Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Revit 2016 and rendering and rendering in the cloud. If here we have a Revit model, we're looking at the 3D view. If I want to render, I can go to the View tab of the ribbon. <clears throat> in the graphics panel, there are three commands for rendering. The first one says render, that is rendering within the software itself on your physical computer. Rendering in the cloud takes the information and uploads it to your Autodesk account and renders with Autodesk servers. Rendering gallery takes you to your actual renderings that you've done in the cloud and to your account. <clears throat> if I click render, it'll bring up the rendering dialog box. <clears throat> Here you could specify uh, different things that you want to render. For example, you typically want to click region. That way, when you do the rendering, <clears throat> um, it will want to render just an area. Um, you have the ability to switch it between NVIDIA Mental Ray and Autodesk Ray Tracing now in 2016. <clears throat> you can specify the quality. You can, and if you decide to go all the way to the making your own, <clears throat> you can copy your one of the existing defaults and change its level of information. And it goes all the way down to the very bottom. You can specify lighting as well, whether it's interior, exterior, artificial, uh, natural, or both. <clears throat> You can specify the background. You can specify an image and its exposure. And if the rendering is finished, you can save it to the project or you can export it out. It's always recommended that when you're doing rendering, you render a region and you start with draft. <clears throat> and as you do the rendering, you can see what it looks like and then you can slowly go up and up and up in quality so you can get a better understanding. If you were to say, let's just do straight best quality and just start rendering the whole thing, it'll take you forever. <clears throat> and your machine, you'll get bogged down. So try not to do that. When we do rendering in the cloud, it'll bring up this default window that explains to you what you're doing and what you, how you're supposed to bring up the uh, information. <clears throat> so we'll hit continue. It'll bring up the render in cloud dialog box. You have to be signed in. I'm already signed in. <clears throat> It'll ask you what <clears throat> 3D views you want to uh, render. You can render one or as many of the 3D views as you want. You can specify what kind of output. <clears throat> you can specify the rendering quality, the image size. The larger it is, the more <clears throat> cloud credits it will take, Okay. Um, the exposure, and the file format. When you're all said and done, you click Start Rendering. You can also put a check mark that says Email me when complete. Once this is selected to render, it will actually grab the Revit model and all of its information and push itself up to your account and start rendering. You will then be able to continue working in your Revit project until you're ready to close the software. <clears throat> Once you have the email notification that your rendering is finished, you can select that link and it will take you to your rendering dialog uh, gallery in your rendering account. Um, so here I've got a few of them already created and the way it's set up is it's based off of the actual model file name that you've rendered. <clears throat> and as you expand them you can see all the renderings that you've done for uh, each of the projects. So. Let's say, for example, I click uh, this one. It will expand, show you the image, and depending on your you know, connection speed, <clears throat> you'll see the information show up. And there you go. There's your rendering. You have the ability to right-click a render, re-render, adjust exposure, download, or delete the image. You can also do it from up here as well, clicking this little arrow, and it give you all the different options. <clears throat> And that's it. That's rendering in Revit and rendering in the cloud. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.